Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and I'm here with Dale Schwartz. Dale, good to see you. Good to see you. We've got our Schwartz Performance shirts on. I want to show you the car that we're going to feature is one of the cars they put a frame on, and that's what they're best known for, not only the restoration of cars and custom interiors, but sometimes the current cars, their horsepower is so high that you need a custom frame and uh, you're, you and your father and the team here do a great job of that. Matter of fact, they had an open house here last week and 500 people showed up, yeah. which is pretty cool for a restoration shop. They have 500 people, that's amazing. Let me show you this way. This is what a Schwartz Performance frame looks like. I hope you can see that. And I'm gonna grab the camera. So Dale, good to have you on the channel with me. Yes, so sir. with um, what do we have here today? Well, we have Randy's 1966 Pontiac GTO. Uh, we did a full build on it. Uh, it does have our Schwartz G Machine chassis underneath it. Big 14 inch bare brakes with six piston calipers all the way around, Ride Tech adjustable coilovers. And uh, one of the coolest things about it is that we left the Pontiac power. Uh, we do a lot of LS conversions here, but uh, this one the customer wanted to leave the Pontiac engine in there, uh, but we updated it with some modern fuel injection from, from Auto Trend EFI and, uh, and Holly Performance. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. So there's no missing this. The bright orange 66 GTO. So when you see this color orange, you almost think 69 carousel red judge. So it's nice to see this color on a 66. So with that being said, the all important judge emblem, the wonderful lower upper headlights, and the hood scoop. Let's take a look at that Coke bottle frame. We'll come on back. And now you've got, right off the bat, rims that look stock, but clearly aren't. Tell me about those rims. Yeah, so our, our whole uh, premise about building cars is uh, the fact that you can take something that looks old, but have all modern technology underneath it. Um, the wheels that we put on this GTO are just like the factory Rally 1 wheels, uh, which were different from the the Chevy rallies that, that we're all used to that had five slots in them. This one has six. So this was specific to, to the Pontiacs. And um, these are a custom one-off three-piece wheel uh, from a company called Evod out in California. <laughs> it was my whole hand. Yeah. These, uh, the fronts are a 19 by 9 inch wheel and the rears are a 19 by 12 inch wheel. Wow. Uh, they're wrapped in 345, 30, 19 Michelin tires in the back, and then uh, 255 is up front. So, um, so yeah, it's we had to run a little bit larger wheel uh, because of the large brakes that we put on it. Uh, the factory 15s wouldn't wouldn't work anymore. So that looks really good. Always love the back windscreen there, and you can easily see. The 66 GTO by the taillights with the louvers. Wonderful. Like so. Can we uh, open the trunk? I think the keys are right inside. So we custom padded the back. Yep. The, well, look how clean. Yeah, it's all carpeted. And then uh, we try to put a fire extinguisher just for safety measures. Yeah. Um, and it's got a battery cutoff switch for long-term yep. storage. I see that. And then we've got a battery mounted on the trunk up, up front there on the tray mm -hmm. with our billet battery tray. This is really nice. Okay. Let's shut that. We'll take a look at the interior. Now, how long have, have has your dad been in business with you? We've been in business uh, a little over 12 years now. 12 years now, okay. So the interior is pretty unique. Um, it's kind of the same idea as the exterior. Somewhat stock, but also custom. Um, the, uh, the door panels, the seats, uh, front and rear are upholstered in a custom 
uh, leather. Wow. It's it's like a pearl leather. I don't know if you can really see that from the camera, but it's uh, you can see there's a sheen to it. Yeah. Um, this was custom leather. So these front seats are from uh, Scat. They're Scat seats uh, that Shane Casson reupholstered for us, and then the rears we we match with the the same type of leather as the front seats. Now, I have to tell you, I'm smelling this car, and it smells great. Yeah. And we've we've turned the steering wheel, so I'm going to do that for people. There you go. But we, uh, it smells great in here. It feels, the seat wraps around you more like a Corvette than a bench seated GTO, I'll tell you that. Yeah, and the gauges that we put in the factory cluster are from Dakota Digital. Um, they have a bunch of customization that you can do. The colors, the backlighting colors on the gauges are, are customizable. And it's got an LCD readout on it as well. We're gonna, pretty I'm, gonna, cool. I'm gonna look over your shoulder then when we do that. Still yeah. has all the regular feel though. You've got your your mm -hmm. your button down there for your high beams. We've got it looks like custom air conditioning in here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our typical down in the center console. I want to show you just some of the pieces here. I specifically put this here so you can take a moment and pause on that to see some of the pieces of this car. I mean look at the stitching let's uh let's do this let's open up the uh and a nice wood feel steering wheel real nice let's open up under the hood shall we and the sun is beaming on this one and <laughs> that looks wonderful oh yeah now you've done something unique here looks tri power mm -hmm. we've got the blue pontiac color We've got the be cool radiator, so it gets not, lots of nice cooling. But share with me what's happened under here. There's something special. Yeah. So these, uh, the customer wanted to keep a tri power and, and asked if if we could do a fuel injection setup because he he likes obviously modern fuel injection with uh, being able to start it up and not having to pump the carbs and all that. Um, so we found a company called Auto Trend EFI, and they make these super fancy. Um, throttle bodies and they look like old carburetors so um, cool. at first glance but they're actually they've got two <laughs> fuel injectors in each throttle body that's amazing isn't um, it and then they uh, supplied us a holly efi system for it so it's all controlled by holly um, so it's very easily tunable and everything and it it runs extremely well way better than than the carburetors we get better fuel mileage and um, you know, start in pretty much any type of weather. The best um, of the new and the best of the old. Yeah. All in one car. Yeah. Looks like your stock '66 GTO, other than the color, and everything else, even under the hood. Let's fire up, shall we? We're going to listen to it at idle. And I'm going to look over your shoulder while you've got it, so we could see those as well. But let me stay up here for just a moment. Will it show us? You know, we can see a little bit of that. Yeah, kind of different. Yeah. One more time up here. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. That was pretty fun. So we even put a radio in it that has Bluetooth capability. And the uh, Vintage Air AC system 
is uh, controlled by the factory controls. So it looks like the factory dash, um, but it's it's all electronic controls. So um, again, we're classic style meets modern technologies or motto. So everything that we put into this car is exactly that. So when someone's got their car and they're like, you know, it might be a little too far gone and we can't bring it back to original, this is the answer. Yeah, yeah, with our Schwartz G-Machine chassis, all of the suspension and steering components are completely new, they're upgraded, it's not anything based off of factory configuration. So um, all of our chassis use the same type of suspension geometry, um, big brakes, let's, let's power steering. Yep. So it's easy to feature because look here it is. Yeah, you can see all of the suspension here. So yeah, I mean it, it shows that we are, you know, and you can see that frame under there, that this is a big ladder frame, yeah. not the flimsy. So when you have this kind of horsepower, it doesn't torque it right off the frame. Right. Our our A body chassis, which is what this is considered, is about 200% stiffer in torsional rigidity than the factory frame. So um, with additions like horsepower, uh, modern tires that are stickier, uh, there's a lot more stress that goes onto the frame and you really need something that, that will um, you know, perform and, and not flex like the factory one. So you can brace up a factory frame but at the end of the day you're adding more weight and uh, you don't have you know, a new steel frame. Are the uh, frames aluminum? What, what are they based on? Um, our, all of our frames are uh, mild steel. Okay. And on the A body here, we use mandrel bent rails. Um, so they're lighter the than the standard frame. Yes, our and complete, our complete chassis is about 125 pounds lighter than the factory one <laughs> with great. brakes and everything on it. And these are giant brakes, four nine inch. Um, but there's a lot of weight that's that's reduced. You you don't have a big steering box anymore, um, heavy control arms and stuff. All of our stuff is lightweight, so. It handles and rides really nice. Lighter weight gets you there faster. Yes. Dale, what a treat. Thanks for showing us this beautiful orange GTO. Yep, Look forward to seeing what the viewers think. Thank you.